Hey guys, it's Lester Prosper and you're tuning in with Boleros Lifestyle. Yo, what's up guys? And dito na naman ako ang inyong ultimate Bolero with another vlog. Uh, ito na naman ang episode 5 ng aming podcast which is the last 2 minutes podcast. Salamat muna pala sa lahat ng sumusuporta sa aming podcast at sa bumubuo ng aming podcast. Maraming maraming salamat. So, sino nga ba yung guest natin? Tara, kilalanin natin siya, si Mr. Fun Guy, Mr. 100%, Keeping the Grind, Mr. Lester Prosper, ang naturalized player ng Indonesia. Again, sobrang nag-enjoy ulit ako dito sa episode namin na to. Every episode, we learn a lot from our guest. So, I hope you'll enjoy the vlog as well. So, let's go now. It's a 16 buff in the dark of the world. It's a 16 buff in the dark Good afternoon to our viewers. Uh, welcome to episode five of the Last Two Minutes podcast. Today, we actually have a special edition of our podcast, being because we actually have our guest, a, a very special guest of ours, a well traveled and a journeyman throughout basketball, well respected and beloved by the basketball world, especially in Asia and the US. His name is Mr. Lester Prosper, and you already know me. I'm your ultimate Bolero. What's up, Boleros Nation? What's up, Kamusta what's up? Kamusta kayo mga kabolero? This is D-Sports TV. Kamusta mga idol? This is Nash, Basketball TV. Yes, sir. I'm Kino of From the Side and I'm Ismael. What's up? Lester Prosper. What's up? And uh, hope you're all good, sir. Uh, thank you again for accepting this invitation. I have one question for you. Who, when did you start playing basketball and who are your influences or your idols going up? All right. I started playing basketball at um, around 17. Um, you know, uh, I, my first sport is cricket, you know, um, my idols growing up. Um, I like Akeem Olajuwon, um, you know, um, David Robinson and um, Chris Bosch. So you, the big men, big men and versatile big men. Yeah, Thank yeah, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yes. And Sir, uh, Sir Lester, they are really a great hoopers, as you've said. And really, the PBA misses you because you brought a lot of ex excitement. And the PBA, going into the PBA topic, who are your favorite PBA teammates? Um, Rashawn McCarthy, Jack Corpus, before he got traded. he Jack Corpus actually helped me got a lot because he was so physical. You know, he actually, like, welcomed me to the PBA in practice. Which with his physicality, and I, I took that, you know, and ran with it. I took that personally, and I loved it, you know, because um he wasn't, you know, he wasn't like being soft. Jack Corpus was my guy, C.J. Perez, of course. That the, these guys, they all welcomed me, you know. what I'm saying Rashawn, you know, what I mean, these guys all welcomed me with open arms, man. And um, Greg, Greg Kabutin, Greg Kabutin, you know, um, you know he. He's an um, amazing athlete, man. He works hard. He works very, very hard, too, and I like him a lot. You know, all these guys, they welcome me with open arms. The coaches also, you know, as I got there, you know, um, I, I rested for about three to four hours, man. And, you know, we just got right to it, you know, right in the gym, heavy ball workouts, you know, footwork, you know, um, jump shots, um, just sprints, sand work, pool work, weights. You know, they really, really embraced embraced me um, coming there. 
And I had something to prove too, because I was coming from England and, you know, some of the fans didn't know who I was and stuff like that. And, um, and they, they were like, Oh, he's playing, he played in um, England, you know? So why, why should we, we pick him up? Why don't we have an ex NBA player or whatever, you know? Well, you know, sometimes you gotta, sometimes you just have to go with, you know, um, the underdog and that's what they did. And, um, you know, I came in there, I'm, I'm a, you know, I'm, I'm a very hard worker. You know, I'm, I'm a very skilled player. You know, offensively sound, I'm, I'm, I'm great. You know, um, defensively sound, I could stop, I could stop the best of them. You know, um, and I practice with a lot of um, NBA guys. I train with a lot of NBA guys. Even the younger NBA guys that that I train with, they they ask me for for um, you know advice. So. You know, I try to be the best um, player that I can be, and 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 um and a mentor, the best mentor I can be, also. And I listen from guys who um, have been in the NBA longer than me. So I, the the most important thing that you have to do to be able to get better is to be able to listen and and um and incorporate what what um, you have been told. Oh, thank you for sharing those information. Uh, especially, it was a great knowledge and great wisdom coming from you. Um, especially, you're going to be a role, role model to the aspiring uh, talents here in the Philippines. But since you've said that, that we are a basketball religion, um, definitely we miss you in the PBA. And uh, since you're one of the beloved, I miss you guys too. I miss yeah. you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I miss much. you guys also. You provided a lot of excitement in the PBA, but what do you miss the most in the PBA? Man, I, I miss the fans. You know, I miss the fans. I miss my teammates. Um, I miss the competition. I love. I love the fact that the team that I'm on are the underdogs. I love the fact that terra firma are underdogs and i love fighting against the top team san miguel hinebra tnt you know what i mean um magnolia i love i love it you know because before i got there you know we know that they were getting blown out and you know you know it wasn't too competitive everybody would mark them off oh this is a win you know but when i got there the guys you know it was just a different energy and we just started playing ball, you know, and the games that we, we lost were super close games, you know? Yeah. So, but, um, uh, next, next season we have a chance to, um, I think we'll have a chance to be in the playoffs and, and I'm looking forward, I'm looking forward to it, you know? Yeah, thank you. So going off basketball to topic first, uh, I would just like to ask, what is your favorite Filipino dish? Um, what is my favorite Filipino at this? Um, adobo, definitely. Awesome. It's pretty delicious now. Um, yeah. Oh, so ab absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. So you'll mm -hmm. eat a lot of rice with that, and, right? And I, and I, and I like, I like, I like crispy pata too. I like it too. <laughs> so, sir, since you are actually a hardworking person and, uh, you focus a lot on your work. Do you still have the urge in chasing the American dream going into the NBA? Um, if it happens, if it happens, and I'm I'm praying that it it does happen, that I, you know, just team calls me and says we need you to read and help us to you know, move forward, you know. I, I hope I hope something like that happens. You know, I'm 32 years old. I'm still a young man, you know, and um, you know, I feel my body feels great. You know, I'm faster, I'm stronger, you know, I'm jumping higher, you know. So, you know, I hope I hope that something like that happens miraculously. If if it doesn't, then I'm happy, I'm happy where I am. I hope so too. And uh, don't worry, you have all the Filipino support and your American dream as well going to the NBA. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. The follow-up question to that, amidst the going 
ri growing rivalry between Brothers Nation, Indonesia, and the Philippines, and the power of social media nowadays. There is a lot of bashing going on on both sides. What um, you remain actually respectful, and that's what we admire about you. But what can you say about those bashings going on for both sides? Um, what I think they should do is. It's okay to talk your stuff, talk your crap, but um, do it in a respectful way. You know, that, that it's all right. It's all right to talk crap. Just do it in a respectful way. Don't don't involve people's mothers. Don't involve people's religion or you know people's countries and stuff like that. Just just do it in a respectful way, and and that's it. You know, we're all competitive. You know, but just do it in a respectful way. That's all. You know, people are gonna. People are going to talk. Fans are going to talk. It happens in football. You know, it happens in any sport. You know, it even happens in practice with your teammates. You just got to do it respectfully. That's I, it. I agree on that one. We should know our boundaries and we should abide e through exactly. the exactly. respect, right? And uh, exactly. my, for my finale question, uh, can you please describe yourself in one word and why? Passionate. Um, because, because of my, you know, my background, where I, where I come from, you know, what I've been through, I'm very passionate. So, every every single thing that I that I go through in life, you know, from a job to, you know, to relationships to, you know, um, friendship, you know, I'm very passionate about it, you know. So it's um it's good to be that way, you know. Thank you for that answer. Last Thank you so much, Mr. Prosper. Uh, again, it's been a privilege and it's been an honor for us in the last two minutes podcast having guesting you. Uh, do you have any messages at all for your fans in the Philippines and Indonesia and in the world? Yes, everybody just stay safe. Um, God bless you all. And, you know, um, I hope that we all could get over this um, this, this pandemic and, and um, so we can see the fans back in the stadium and, that's about it. Stay safe and, and, and that's it. And thank you again, sir. And uh, stay safe as well. Good luck to your uh, to the tournament in the bubble. So be again, before we end the podcast, we definitely get to know better Mr. Lester Prosper, of the naturalist player of Indonesia and one of the beloved imports of the PBA as well. So to all our viewers, thank you for watching. See you in our next episode. Thanks. Thank you. Peace. Peace out. Ayun guys, so marami tayong, again, marami na naman tayong matutunan sa aming guest kay Mr. Lester Prosper and again kudos and maraming maraming salamat sa pag-unlock sa aming invitasyon na makapanayam namin kayo. Again, maraming marami kami natutunan sa inyo and sa mga supporters namin, sa mga sumusuport at sa mga mga kapanood itong video na to, please don't forget to like and subscribe sa aming channel, Boleros Lifestyle. And sa aming, please follow my page, Facebook page, Boleros Lifestyle, and uh, The Last Two Minutes Podcast as well. Again, maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng suporta. Uh, God bless to you all. Uh, peace.